new dynamic feature enhancements, extensibility for the Assets UI, plus some much loved Universal Editor enhancements. Let's have a look. Adobe Experience Manager is built to deliver customer experience management in the era of AI. We deliver intent-based experiences that power by generative AI and really focus on these three pillars around better content creation, accelerated activation, and optimized experiences. We've got some exciting features to share, as I mentioned, so let's have a look at how we can accelerate activation of on-brand content at scale. Okay, let's look at two new enhancements to Edge Delivery Services with Universal Editor and AEM authoring. The first one looking at how we can turn any page into a page template. And the second one allowing you to easily import spreadsheet data. Let's turn over to Martin to take us through a demonstration. The first feature is support for page templates. So many authors in AEM, if they create a new page, they don't want to start with a blank page. They want to start from a template with a predefined structure and content. Now we made it super simple to create these templates. So let's assume I have here this Martin demo page that looks like this. And I already know that I or others will use this same structure and maybe the same content as a starting point for new pages. Now to turn that into a template, you simply go to properties and under advanced, you have that checkbox use page as a template. If you check it and save it, your page is now available to everyone as a template. So if I go here and create a new page, my page appears now as a template and I can create a new page here. What it will do is it will create a copy of, of that um, page for you as a starting point. So there's no dependency relationship to the to the original page. If I go back to this Martin demo page and change content, it will not impact your copy. The second feature I want to show you today is a CSV importer. With Edge Service, you have an easy way to manage data in a spreadsheet. If you use Universal Editor, you can create your spreadsheet very simple by going here to create a new page. Then we have here this spreadsheet template. If I select that, um, let's say we want to manage redirects here. I give a title and I have to define the structure. Um, so for a redirects, we need a source and a destination uh, columns here. And now if I create that, I have now my spreadsheet available um, and can manage it in AM. And as you can see, it's a super simple editor, which works great if you have to uh, add a couple of uh, rows here, but it will not scale. So for that, we made it super simple for authors that you can manage all your data in an actual Excel or, or any similar solution. And so I created here a spreadsheet with my redirects. Uh, as you can see, now it's super simple for me to manage the data at scale. If I'm done, I simply export that into a CSV file and now in this release, I have a super easy way to upload that CSV. I can either replace the whole spreadsheet data or append it. So let's select append. I select the CSV and voila, I have now all the additional rows from my CSV appended to, to this spreadsheet and can now publish the data from here. Super simple. The assets interface is now extensible, allowing developers to go in and customize with ease create new panels, interact with other services, bring some ideas to life. Check out the release notes on how to get started with a step-by-step -step tutorial. Content Hub has been expanded to allow you to download assets that you define as a power user. This allows business users to not just find an asset, but find it in the right shape and format that they need to do their job. Let's check it out. Content Hub in Adobe Experience Manager helps content marketers and line of business users leverage on-brand content across channels and use cases. With the availability of asset renditions, users can access not only high-resolution originals, but also asset formats and resolutions optimized for their use case, eliminating the need for manual resizing. Let's see how this works. Power users can configure creation of additional renditions in the processing profiles. 
Renditions range from quick to configure, size and format variants of an asset, providing optimized asset size for channels like online social emails, all the way through sophisticated transformations of assets using assets content automation with Creative Cloud APIs or fully custom processing profiles. Power users can also decide on the governance around access to assets originals and renditions for all the users of Content Hub. When processing profiles are applied to folders in AEM authoring environment, pre-configured asset renditions get generated automatically upon upload. When these assets get approved for availability on Content Hub, users searching for on-brand approved content will be able to access and download these renditions as well. To sum it up, asset renditions in Content Hub help content marketeers and line of business users simplify their workflows. For dynamic media users, there's also a new renditions panel to allow you to quickly go and access the renditions while you're in the assets UI. Users can actually go in, find an asset and see all the different variations and be able to click and choose what they'd like to download, copy the URL and actually see the direct path for that asset. Also for dynamic media users, is new Open API Advanced Image Modifiers and Presets, allowing you to add simple URL parameters. Here you can see some examples, such as unshot mask and resampling modes. Then you have alignment and fit. Extend is widely used by customers for borders and shading. And then there's an example of scaling and cropping. The last example shows various modifiers for lighting, colors, and effects. This feature is actually in limited availability right now, but you can get access by raising a support ticket and the team will get back to you. And finally, the Dynamic Media team have introduced new delivery reports, allowing you to understand the performance of your assets when they're delivered via Dynamic Media. These, re these reports are easy to set up by defining the path of the assets you'd like to report on as well as the date range. And once you do that, you can go ahead and understand the ROI of the assets, how many times they'll download, refer information, and a lot more detail. Again, this is a limited availability option, but raise the support ticket and the team will allow you to get access. So there you have it. Some great updates to Universal Editor and Edge Delivery Services, as well as enhancements to assets. I'm hoping you like these updates check out the release notes for more details. As always, Experience League is the place to be. Read the release notes, engage with the community. We'd love to see you there.